If you want to teach effectively, one of the things you have to do is grab people's attention. And anything that you can do, or a talent that you have, even if it's miles away from the material you're trying to teach, can be drawn in for this purpose. I happen to be a pianist. I play blues and jazz. And I'll tell you how it gets started. Imagine you're a student sitting in a class and I put up a circuit that's the capacitor connected to a resistor and I discuss what happens when the capacitance varies to the current through the resistor. You might already be asleep. Now instead imagine this. I sit down, I play some blues on my keyboard, you're immediately awake. You look up, what the hell is this physicist teaching me about the blues? And then I show the circuit which allows the vibrations of the mechanical bars inside the instrument to be coupled to an electrical circuit. And it's the same circuit I would have introduced in the dry way, but now they want to know how it works. So it's simple really, if you want to introduce something complicated, find a way to get people's interest first, and then put up the complicated thing. And because they want to know about it, they're willing to deal with the complexity. The University of Sheffield has an interesting um, student body, and when you're teaching a, a large enough group of people like that, then some of what you say can end up inspiring people to go on and do great things. Um, my current postdoctoral researcher and a recently graduated PhD student both came out of the University of Sheffield, one from the engineering faculty and one from physics, and they've been instrumental in my research. And in addition, undergraduates tend to ask questions which are quite naive but often very tough. And so you end up thinking about things to explain those questions and often the way you think will shape your own understanding of the subject. So it very much is a symbiotic relationship. They're here to learn from you, you're also here to learn from them. The most exciting thing I've worked on at Sheffield, easily by miles, is the quest to detect gravitational waves. And that's because we've found them. They've been detected by my collaboration, which is um, actually a group of 86 institutions worldwide. It's quite a big group, but it's so exciting that the excitement even shared out amongst the 1,006 scientists on the paper is still enough excitement to make me this excited. So I'm absolutely amazed by what's happened.